Techno released the Techno Cam on i just a few months ago and this is a light version of that. So let's jump into the overview of the Techno Cam on i Air. The display on the Techno Cam on i Air looks like a really good quality panel. The colors are really good, it's popping and the brightness is also very comfortable. It's an HD plus display which means the resolution is 720p by 1440p. Keeping with the trend it's an 18 by 9 aspect ratio display and it has really small bezels all around. On the front, we have a single front facing camera and a selfie flash. Now the Techno Cam on i Air has a single camera at the back with a camera bump. Now I don't really understand that bump because this is exactly the same phone as the Techno Cam on i and that one did not have a camera bump. It also has the same sized battery which means that the phone has not gone thicker or thinner. Which means that the bump really does not make any sense but this is what you've got. You've got really clicky power and volume buttons to the right and a SIM slot to the left. On the top you have a 3.5mm headphone jack. Now going through the OS, it's a fun looking OS and there's a lot of colors here. Uh, blue and white are quite prominent here and uh, it's a good looking OS. It's not the best in terms of performance. It's not the smoothest. There are tiny lags here and there but it should be pretty smooth in everyday use and if you want to see a detailed review then please go ahead and watch our Techno Cam on i full review. You'll find all the details about the UI there. I really like the tiny animations or also the fact that you can customize a lot of things on the UI so you can change the effect that happens uh, when you change screen so now it's different you can also do that uh, you also get the option to put widgets wallpapers you can align things at the bottom or the top which is really fun I guess you can also enter the settings mode like this or you can also swipe the bottom panel and you straight go to the settings which are tiny touches that are really useful in the UI. Going into the settings panel you'll obviously see a lot of standards things so this comes with Android Nougat which is why you're seeing the suggestions on top. You get native support for OTG and you can turn it on or off directly from the settings. You also get a few fingerprint scanner features like you can long press the fingerprint scanner while in the camera to take a photo or you can also accept calls using that scanner. Now going below you'll obviously find all the standard settings. In the power saving management mode you've also got an ultra low power mode which basically shuts up all those things that drain your battery and only gives you the basic things like making a call or getting sound recording, alarm etc. You've got 2 gigs of RAM of which you get 1 GB RAM available for use. Uh, you've got 16 GB of internal storage with 7.8 GB left for your use. So you've got a lot of smart features for example you have off-screen gestures so when the screen is off so basically you've got off-screen gestures so if you make a C it recognizes it and opens up the camera for you. You can also make a W for WhatsApp so you can basically change a lot of these things you can set things for yourself for your convenience. You've also got a few others which you can assign to your favorite apps and basically make your life a lot more easier. Now tiny details as I said earlier is something that I like with the Techno Cam on I. So the calendar icon shows today's date that is 14 March. The clock icon also changes the icon, the time inside the icon. The clock, the clock icon also changes the time inside the icon according to the real time. So it is showing 5.57 and the clock in the clock app icon is also exactly at that time which is really cool. And the clock also shows the exact same timing so the time right now is 5.57 and that's exactly what the clock app is showing and today's date 14 March. Now these are tiny details that Techno has paid a lot of attention to and I really like the effort that they've put in. Now looking at the camera UI also it's quite straightforward it's pretty similar to what we saw in the Cam on i. It also is very similar to the iPhone UI so you can swipe through uh, different features so you've got a beauty mode, a photo mode, you've got video which looks again very similar to iOS. This one does not have a lot of mode which is very weird actually this might be a software bug but I'm not sure why this is happening you also have flash uh, you have HDR HDR auto and HDR also uh, you can also change the aspect ratio so one is to one uh, is uh, the aspect ratio where you upload photos to Facebook or Instagram and you get a native support for that so your pictures come straight in one is to one ratio coming to the specs of the Techno Cam on i Air you get a MediaTek MT6737 chipset which is the exact same one that you saw in the Techno Cam on i with 2 gigs of RAM and uh, the battery is again the same at 3050 mAh with the micro USB port on the bottom obviously you get a 13 megapixel sensor at the back and an 8 megapixel sensor on the front so this is the difference that you have have with the Techno Cam on i. So when you compare the Techno Cam on i Air to the Techno Cam on i, 
the only difference is that you find if you take a look here you'll see that they are exactly same the weight the dimensions the screen resolution but the differences are first of all the front camera where you get an 8 megapixel camera on the front instead of 13 megapixel on the techno cam on i and 2 gigs of ram instead of 3 gigs on the techno cam on i so these are the only differences that you have with the techno cam on i and the techno cam on i air apart from that the only difference between the techno cam on i and the techno cam on i air is just a camera bump at the back and i'm not really sure why that happened that's it for this one thank you so much for watching our unboxing and first impressions of the techno cam on i air please let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section down below hey this is shri hari from mr phone and i'll catch you in the next one